I think it's going to be interesting to explore that more because, like you were saying, Mike, this is kind of a part of our history, but it's in the past. So it's primitive, which means that there is going to be growth. And I think to see some of that growth start happening with the Mocklands is going to be interesting. Like, I would love to see maybe some of the Mocklin males starting to like wake up to the idea that maybe this is wrong and then go you know join the um sanctuary the camp yeah yeah and I mean, then so... the females having to work out that conflict like yeah. we don't trust them we hate you but they're like no like we actually really want to be equals and there's going to be a conflict and story there to um to discover and explore which is going to be cool because i have on the bottom of the screen i have what's your favorite moment from the Orville? Yeah. Now this yeah, is a tough many. one for anyone. Yeah, a lot of people say there's just too many, mm -hmm. but uh, this is something we can talk about for months and, and years to come because there's so many moments we can just always pick a new yeah. moment. But today, Man, I, what's your favorite moments? I, I, I would right off the top of my head when when that happened was was Topa walking up to the bridge, taking the command seat, and saying to Gage Quantum Drive. I mean, I just. I was sobbing like a little like a little baby. Um, yeah, the whole Topa story. Yeah, but that's but, just incredible. Yeah, and that yeah. just comes to mind right now. Like as soon, as, like in a couple of minutes, I'll be like, "Oh, that was so good! I, I wish I thought of that." Well, the um, whole Topa story is like, um, it's uh, it's such a, a it's taking a, a topic that's part of the world conversation right now and kind of flipping it around. Because people are, are, are arguing, oh, uh, you know, people shouldn't change their gender or children shouldn't be allowed to change their gender. That's a whole other topic for people to discuss. But this flips it where it's like a child, a, a baby, a newborn baby is uh, given a sex change because of how weird Mockless is. And, and uh, uh, but now she wants to be change back to the yeah to she, what her original gender was yeah once wants to be who she was who she was born as which i think is the point but i still think that the original like mocklin surgically changing females to male was yeah. was a was a metaphor and it was it was a meta because a lot of people you know don't don't want to be used as the metaphor and, and i get that i totally mm. do but i think i think the mocklins essentially did surgically they accomplished surgically what we do culturally we silence yeah. women Chauvinism. we we push them aside we don't listen to them unless they act like one of the guys so you hear yeah. things like oh yeah she's a woman but but she's okay you know she she gets yeah. it you know you can you can mess around with her and and she's okay. You can kid around with her and they're okay. Meaning that, like, as long as they play along, they're fine. As long as they yeah. act like one of the guys, they're fine. As long as they accept that that male culture, they're okay. That's what the Mocklins were doing. They were ensuring that every female that was born, like, fell in line in that me into that male-dominated society. And they did that surgically. Mm -hmm. The same way we do it culturally. That was my take on the episode. Yeah, that's my take as well. And But it makes me wonder because now it's something we have to take seriously as a thing that happens in this universe. Mm -hmm. as, as a literal thing. They're literally doing this. Uh, what, I wonder what they used to do before they figured out how to do it surgically. Did they just <laughs> the women? You know, I, I, I'm glad you said that because I stopped short of saying that on one of our episodes of... of um, Mission, I can't even think of the name of my show. Mission Log the Orphan. <laughs> Sorry. The, uh, because I, you look at the conditions on Machlis, and it was so harsh and so brutal. And, you know, kind of I was going down this this rabbit hole right here where I decided to stop. But, you know, if, if there are cultures or there have been cultures in, you know, right here on planet Earth that would, you know, infanticide their children, especially the females, because they were deemed not strong enough to work, not, and obviously it's, it's not a ridiculous argument. I, I'm not even, you, your words, um, but, but yes, th those are, those are the reasons why, like, there has been infanticide of, of female babies, like, in our history, and yeah. it, it's a horrible thing, so I, I just, my hypothesis is that the Mocklins would do that because their conditions were so hard 
and so yeah. awful that 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 the, the the baby girls weren't able to survive or weren't able you know deemed not able to contribute again not not my thoughts just just that so so they so they were able to somehow evolve as as not the all male race they claim to be but a mostly all male race and they yeah. found a way to reproduce you know uh, the way they do and yeah. you know they kind of didn't really need the females and if one came along they're like oh we'll just make it a dude anyway and that way they'll fall in line so that's yeah. that's kind of my take on it now a lot of that didn't happen on screen so it's just head cannon yeah. but you know it, it sort of connects all the dots in, in my head um, well that's part of the mystery I'm looking uh, or a conspiracy really that I'm looking to get more information on in season four and, and I'm a lot like you Mike where I was thinking well let's go back as far as we can why would a race of, of, of people start doing this I'm like okay they've said many times the conditions on their planet are extremely harsh and I'm like, well, the females, at least physically, won't be as strong as the males. And, and, and the males will probably be like, okay, they they can't contribute as much because back in the day, they didn't care about mind power as much. And uh, so maybe they started f***ing the women. Uh, um, I, I do wonder how they obtained the ability to reproduce without females. Because somebody said a, a really great thing. They're like, well, how can there be a, a, a society of only males like there's no females born they wouldn't consider themselves they have eggs males. yeah they have well they have yeah. eggs yeah you can in, you can like incubate an egg right you can just like yeah you know. mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that and brian dawkins in the chat and a couple of other people you know talked about like their take on it like female circumcision in in parts of the world and and 100% right. And one of the things that, look, I, I, I look at it through my experience and through my point of view. And, and that's the conclusion I came to. That's, I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying yeah. that's just, that's just you know, how I, you know, on my, it was like on my fifth viewing, getting ready to cover about a girl for Mission Log the Orville, that I was like, oh my God, this isn't a trans story in my mind. This is a mm -hmm. subjugating women's voices. Yeah. It's uh, a story. much so bigger story that, than a lot of people think that, it is. That's how I came from it. But, I'm, I'm not a trans person. If I was, I would probably be looking at it from a trans point of view or, or an intersex point of view or, um, you know, any other or, or it could be, uh, you know, a female circumcision point of view. If, if I had experience with cultures like that, like this yeah. touches so many different stories. And if somebody sees um, you know, a moral, a message, a meaning or, or some, you know, a, analogy to human behavior in it, that's not wrong. That's that's perfectly right. And that's perfectly legitimate. It's just yeah. it just wasn't, you know, upon my initial deep dive into it, what I came away with. Yeah, it's the type of story you do have to watch many times because, like you said, it's so multifaceted and how many people uh, it represents and how many ideas it represents and how many historical uh, happenings it, it, it represents metaphorically. Yeah. You know, and Curtis says, I think way too much time was devoted to Mocklin stories in proportion to other cultures. They've kind of become the Klingons of the, uh, or the mock Klingons of mm, the Orville the universe. Is the good Klingons. Word for the yeah. Mock and the Klingons. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just, I mean, there were so, there was, there's times in Star Trek where I'm like, I am so tired of Klingons. Like just move yeah, on to, to something too. else. Um, but yeah, I think, I think the Mocklins were definitely overrepresented.